Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a comparison here between the 2024 on 12.1 inch Pro Surf Pro versus the uh, Amazon Fire Max 11. First, let's talk about the way they both look and kind of their build quality. They're both very similar looking. Hopefully you guys can tell in this video. Uh, they are both made of a nice metal. They are not made of plastic. Uh, they have both very similar build qualities. I think they both look excellent here. Uh, and I'm flipping them over. You do have 12.1 inch versus about 11 inch. As far as internals go, the the Fire only has 4 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the On actually has 6 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage versus 128 gigabytes of storage in their base models, but both can be expanded with a micro SD card. The Fire is rocking a MediaTek MT8188J, whereas the On is rocking a MediaTek Helio G99. So both do have MediaTek processors in them, uh, but overall I would say the On has a better, has better internals over the Fire. Then let's quickly talk about their displays. I would say both these are very, very similar on display quality. Uh, we're just on Pokemon's website here because it has a lot of nice colors. They both look very, very similar. Like this orangish, reddish here looks basically the same on both of them. This nice pink and purple looks great on both of them. Uh, if there's anything I would say is the fire is a tiny bit brighter, but it's really not much brighter. It's not really a whole lot to be able to, you can't really tell a whole difference here between these two. Uh, just I would say it is a tiny bit brighter when you have them side by side, uh, where these colors are just a little bit darker. Again, it's nothing major, it's just a tiny difference. Next, let's talk about browser speed. So we'll go to Best Buy's website and... For the most part, the on is going to be a little bit quicker in pretty much everything. Uh, again, it does have a bit of a better processor and it does have a little bit more RAM as well. We'll go into this prep for the holidays here. And you can see the on is going to be a little bit quicker. They are both on, of course, my same, on the same Wi-Fi, which is just my home Wi-Fi, uh, which has somewhere around a terabyte of download speed. Go ahead and we'll hit this. And again, we can see just on it is just a little bit faster. Next, let's talk about their speakers. So with the fire, you get one right there and one right there. Whereas on the on, you actually get four. So you have one, one, and then one and one. So you actually have four. Let's start out here with the on. We're going to do the same YouTube video here with, uh, of course, these will both be in max volume. So the on is incredibly loud uh, with its four speakers. Now let's go on to the fire here as well. So the fire does sound pretty good. Uh, actually, I think the fire sounds, in my opinion, a little bit better than the on, but the on gets way louder. Hopefully, you guys can tell that in this video, the on is just super duper loud, uh, but I don't think it sounds as good as the Fire Max 11. Next, let's talk about Roblox in here. We're going to go to Arsenal on both of these, and we're going to just do them in automatic graphics. Uh, that way, the tablet kind of decides what is the best. Uh, neither of these are going to be the greatest in mass graphics. They're going to run a, a pretty low frame rate here. But let's go on into Arsenal here. So you can see, even in automatic graphics, the Amazon is in 15? Yeah, around 15 frames per second, which is not very good. Now it's up into the 20s, so it's not the greatest. Is it playable? I think it's still playable. Now I'm terrible with on-screen controls, but you can see there is still, it's pretty low frame rate. And again, this is in, and I'll just show this off, if it'll let me. 
you guys can see there, automatic graphics is what that was in. And then on the on here, again, automatic graphics on Arsenal. Let's go ahead and hit deploy. So this one's being very weird, but you can see it's higher, right? Almost at 60. And then when we start playing, it is going to drop down a bit. I don't know why it's overlapping the other words there. Um, but we are hovering around in the 40s. When you get taken down, it goes into the 30s. But this is way better than... Again, I suck with on screen controls. Uh, it's way better than on the fire. It's, for the most part, in the 40s and 50s. Which is, again, compared to around 20s, it's pretty good. Then last but not least, we're just, let's talk about the pricing here. So on the fire, I have the fire. You can see here, here in the US, it is $230 when it is not on sale. Currently it is not on sale. Whereas the on is only $180, actually $179. Uh, so you are talking, you're talking about a $50 difference, uh, which is kind of crazy because to me, the on is the better choice here. Plus, you're also saving some money. Uh, now, I will say that fires do go on sale all the time. Uh, so you might be able to get, to get down to around the same price as the On. Personally, if I had to choose between these two tablets, I would go again with the On. Because uh, overall, it's just a better tablet. And it's also bigger. And one thing I did not mention is with the On, it comes with Google Play Store. With the Fire, it comes with the Amazon App Store, which is terrible. Uh, it doesn't even have like the YouTube app on it of all things. It's just really bad. You have to sideload the Google Play Store in order to get that on to the Fire. So overall, my choice would definitely be with the on. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.